Hi Gemini, welcome to your general love reading for March 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it is a general reading, it's not going to be everybody's situation. But you can check out one of your other signs if you'd like, or you can book a personal reading for more specific information. And you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Do keep in mind that the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Gemini. Ooh, just had the Nine of Swords flip over. Could be that you're dealing with some stress, some anxiety, either you or maybe the other person. Let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. First half of March. What is going on? All right, for the situation we have, the Moon, Pisces energy, crossed by the Ace of Wands. Whew, okay, so somebody's feeling quite emotional. Um, possibly emotions just really coming to the surface, and I don't feel like they are pleasant ones, but there's this struggle to actually do something about them. One sec, I forgot to put my phone on silent. Okay. Let's see for your energy. We have the Hierophant, all right, Taurus, the Two of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Okay. What's going on with you, Gemini? This doesn't surprise me because you are a little bit <laughs> in your headspace a lot of the times and can overthink things which I am kind of getting here, especially either in terms of a commitment or even in terms of what you truly believe, like some core beliefs that you have, possibly um, sticking to certain rules maybe even. And I feel like there's something here with your beliefs that's just not really resonating with you anymore. And so you're feeling this drive to do something about it, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see when we clarify, because I feel like there's also a lot of emotions here. For them, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so the other person here, they, they, they have this drive as well to just take some kind of a risk, some kind of a leap of faith, but they're holding back from it. Almost like they're they're feeling like this insecurity, like taking a risk would be very risky, <laughs> basically. Um, I So I see them actually moving in that direction, but just taking it step by step, like taking very small steps towards some kind of a leap of faith here. All right, let's see the potential outcome. We have the star. Okay, beautiful. So that's hope moving towards... Um, one's own um, guidance here. Okay. Also, um, Aquarius energy. All right, Gemini. Let's see. Let's clarify this moon with the um, with the Ace of Wands. The Queen of Wands the Devil, and the Eight of Cups. Okay. Well, I'm glad to see that Eight of Cups here following the Devil because, whew, okay, there is some confusion. I feel like it's confusion about emotions even, um, confusion about possibly even a particular person, not necessarily the person that you're dealing with. It, and this could be them having this confusion, having this um, some kind of like an emotional emotional arousal in an unpleasant way. I feel like, oh, okay, um, could be, I don't know if it's a third party or if it's just like, th there's somebody here. I feel like it's a person. I feel like there's a person showing up here in the situation where there is either a negative attachment or there has been a negative attachment, something toxic, something unhealthy, and there's this, um, there's this movement away from that. There's 
an emotional detachment from that devil's energy. But even so, it's like it's still creating some confusion here, trying to get on that new path that either you or this person is being called towards. Again, could be you, could be them. Let's see the Hierophant in your energy. The Emperor and Judgment. Okay, so Aries is also showing up. Um, don't remember if I called out Capricorn, but Capricorn is also in here. You're making some kind of a discernment. Um, I Again, it's not clear whether it's to do with this particular commitment or a commitment or even certain beliefs that you've been holding on to concerning commitment like you might think that you know commitment has these rules like this is just how it is and this is what, how you're supposed to do things I feel like you're making a discernment here um, that this doesn't really resonate basically with you anymore like it's just not in alignment with who you are let me see the two of swords. You're at the very least, you're beginning to question. To question these beliefs, these ideas. Something that you thought were thought to be true. Alright, so clarifying the two of swords, we have the five of swords and we have the lovers. Alright. There's your energy showing up here, Gemini. Some of you might be dealing with another Gemini, or this is just um, you showing up as well. Again, I mean, it's the same freaking message. <laughs> it's the same freaking message. Something to do with all of this. You're you're beginning to question it. You feel like it's not in alignment. Five of Swords. It, it feels um, deceptive to your own self. Whatever these ideas are, or whatever this commitment is, or whatever you thought to be true about commitments, just in general. Maybe for some of you specifically, the commitment with this person, but I'm getting it more of a general concept of, you know, what commitments are. And is this really a commitment with this person? Or what kind of a commitment is it? And because it's it's not really like your traditional type of a commitment, well then those rules don't apply. And why do rules need to apply in any commitment anyway? I feel like it's a lot of that that's going on here. And I'm not saying, yeah, with that lovers, I mean, I definitely feel like you are, um, this is somebody that you do have a connection with, that this is somebody that you do have love for, possibly, um, but I'm mostly seeing this as being your own self and feeling like, you know, these ideas are just not in alignment with your with your own self. And it could even be beliefs or rules that this person has put on you, for some of you, okay? For others of you, it's just beliefs that you've had or, you know, that were, um, you've been conditioned to, just like all of us, by society. Let's see the Eight of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you're you're moving in a direction of something that is going to be more in alignment with you. I feel like you're planting those seeds. You're beginning to just organize all of these thoughts because I do get that there's confusion here. And this does stir up, you know, like an emotional thing for you as well, possibly, right? With the moon here. Um, but I feel like you're beginning to take steps to just put all of this into place. Organize it and really find yourself. Take care of you and see what is it that aligns with you, finding your groundedness and finding just your your own path, your own your own set of rules basically. All right, so let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see the 4 of pentacles. The 4 of wands and the king of wands. A strong desire for this for this connection with you but they're holding back 
they're holding back. Um, it's like there's this, hold on, let me just clarify the full real quick. And I will get back to this. The Empress and the Knight of Cups. All right, yeah, so I feel like this person is holding back, like, because they have this sense of insecurity, of losing a foundation, or of possibly not not being able to have a particular connection here that they really, really want. And so for that reason, they're holding back. Because I, otherwise it would be like a risk. A risk for, for possible disappointment, right? Because I'm seeing here that this is somebody who really, who really wants you. I love that we have the emperor showing up for you up here and then we have the empress showing up for them down here. So it definitely feels like this is a connection where you both feel like you belong in some way to each other, like on some level, even if it doesn't make sense. For some of you, maybe it makes sense. And for others of you, possibly it doesn't. But either way, you're both feeling this about each other. And because there's this insecurity on this person's end of possibly not having that, it's a risk for them to actually open up and move forward towards this. They do want to take this this leap though. They do, I, I feel like deep down for them it is worth, it's definitely worth the risk um, to move towards you with an open heart. But again, um, they're holding back and like I said, taking some baby steps here. So let's see that page of pentacles. It's like taking the baby steps because they just want to be cautious. And again, it's stemming from a bit of an insecurity yeah, we have the Magician and the four, the four of Cups. Yeah, they're... <laughs> they're worried about being disappointed. And I, I actually feel like, you know, they are, they are manifesting something here. They are manifesting something here. They definitely have what they need to have. Definitely also, by the way, um, strong Aries showing up um, for the other person. They, they have what it takes to overcome this. They, this is someone who actually wants to take a bigger step than what they're actually taking. They're not happy with this little baby steps and slow movement here. And for some of you, for some of you, yeah, this might even be dependent on you and not them. Like this person might be taking these baby steps and holding back because um, maybe you're figuring something out for this connection and those rules and the beliefs and all of that. Could go either way. Either way, though, this person is not is not happy about the pace that this is moving in. They're trying to trust. And I do see them wanting to take a bigger risk than what they actually are taking. They're just a little bit worried that of what the results might be of that. Um, someone here, though, as I said, because this didn't this didn't clear up this main energy here. Somebody is walking away from something that is toxic. But again, it's not sure it's not clear if it's you or them it could be even moving away from um, something toxic within your connection but again i feel like for a lot of you there is um, another person that's involved here all right so let's see the star because that looks like a very very optimistic outcome here we have the six of pentacles the two of wands and the five of pentacles. All right, so there is hope here, all right? Um, there is hope and I do see just all of this moving in the way that it is meant to, following your own guidance for the both of you. Um, there's this sense of giving back and having some kind of a balance. But again, I feel like the message here is that it is taking a little bit of, 
it is taking a little bit of time. And again, somebody is really worried here about what it is that they have to lose, that there might be something that they're going to miss out on or something that they're going to lose or something that, you know, they would want to have a more secure hold over that they might not. And therefore it feels risky. So I do feel like that's in reference to the other person here. Um, but I feel like hope is, is prevailing. It's all about following intuition and trusting your own self for the both of you. And I do see that, that happening with the star. Being able to overcome this sense of loss. Just a little bit of time. Just a little bit. Gemini, if this resonated, the final message for you, we have the full moon in Aquarius, show the world the real you. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of this, even if it doesn't feel like what you're going through, that it's related to the other person or that it can affect the other person, um, it can. It really can. This is really all about you finding what is true to you. Show the world the real you, your own rules, set your own rules. What is commitment to you and what does it mean? And, and you know, find your own truth. So yeah, those are the messages for you, Gemini. Um, thank you so much for watching and much love.